Please join us at thebitcoinacademy.net for more videos like this. Okay, in this video today, I'm going to go over something that um, was kind of hiding in plain sight. And I was helping someone last night and I stumbled across it and I was like, why aren't I doing this? Um, this is crazy. So I just wanted to share my craziness with you. We are going to talk about uh, Flamingo.finance and what a great platform this is turning out to be. I have Neo, I have Flamingo, and I have been... Um, I've been staking it, um, but to stake it, you first need to go in and you need to add liquidity. Um, when you let add liquidity, then you can go through and you can store it in the vault. And when you store it in the vault, you can stake it. And as you can see, I have some staked and the APY is about 34.81% right now for the Flamingo and Neo pair. And I was looking down uh, last night and I was like, well, you know, I would love to do some USDT. Uh, that's a higher return. Um, but I don't want to go cross chain. I don't want to send my USDT. Um, I don't want to wrap it. I don't want to do a lot of that because um, it's just not convenient, it's not easy, and I feel like I could potentially run into some issues. So I'm gonna show you how you can take some of your extra earnings. I'm earning some FLM from the FLM Neo stake, which is great, but I have a bunch of other wrapped Neo that when I take my FLM and I claim it, and I go back in and I um, add liquidity, but I have a bunch of extra um, wrapped Neo that I can't do anything with, or so I thought. I was waiting for my Flamingo. And then it came to me and I said, well, why don't I just try to swap some of the N Neo that I have? So let's go back. You land on flamingo.finance. You would go to swap. To start this process, uh, you'd have to be connected with either, well, I connect with the, the O3 wallet. I can click select. And right now you can see I have 471 wrapped NEO. I'm going to take that up here and I want to turn it into a um, the higher pain USDT. So I'm connected with my ledger. I'm going to make sure that didn't time out. And I'm going to take, and this is just an example, I'm going to take, um, let's just say 10 Neo, which turns out to be about $896. And I'm going to swap it. I'm going to swap my N Neo. I'm going to take some here and I am going to swap it into USDT uh, as wrapped, basically and I am going to swap it. And I'm going to confirm swap. I'm going to, uh, I can't show you that, but I'm going to say yes to the signature. Um, on the O3 wallet, you can see up in this upper right hand corner, it kind of drops down. I'm going to review the transaction and I am going to say accept. So Round and round the flamingo goes, where she stops, nobody knows. And when this is confirmed, then I will be able to stake the uh, USDT and um, my NEO combination. So I'm gonna go back and I am going to, you know what, I should have just stayed in there and I could say pool and I could add some liquidity. I can put the N Neo, the wrap Neo, and the. Oh, hold on. You know what? It just has not appeared as of yet. Let me check over here. Okay, it does show that um, my FUSDT is there. So we're going to do that, and we are going to. Let's get out 
Let's go back. Let's go back. So now that I've converted some of my NDL into some USDT, we're going to go in and say swap. We're not swapping it. We're going to say pool. We're going to add some liquidity. We're going to add some NEO and we're going to add some oops, USDT. And we can then supply $896 and that'll go against about 9.97 NEO. So we're going to supply that liquidity. Now, one of the issues that you're going to run into is if you feel that um, Flamingo is going to increase, if you feel that NEO is going to increase, um, then you may not want to do USDT. Now, it is a higher rate of return um, than the, the NEO Flamingo, but I just want to give you an example of what you can do with the different coins and this platform. So we're going to supply liquidity. We're going to confirm. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say yes. I'm going to prove it on my ledger. And there we go. So I'm adding liquidity of the pair NEO and USDT. Once I add that liquidity, then I will be able to go in and stake that pair. Right now you can see I have 9.2902. It's a 51% return, but let, let's step back and, and look and see, is it really a good idea to stake at 51%? What if I would have taken the, um, the extra NEO that I had and turn it into Flamingo and stake that? Because I personally feel that both of those are going to rise. And if that's true, then I am taking two coins that I like, that I think are going to rise, and I am staking them, and they're earning less of a percentage, but I feel both are going to rise. But right now, I'm just staking NEO with USDT. NEO could rise in value, um, but USDT is going to pretty much stay constant. But I get a better return. So that's the question that you have to ask yourself. Is it better to... Um, go with a higher percentage? Maybe. Uh, depends on what you think Neo is going to do and Flamingo is going to do. So it's it's those choices that, um, that you can make. Uh, we're not going to stake this yet, but let's go back and I'll show you what you can do with doing another swap. Let's say we take, well, let's see, we're going to go back. Um, we're going to go back to the vault. We did, honestly, I think it was I don't remember how many it was, and I'm not going to go look back at the video, but we're going to do another swap, and we're going to say NEO, and we're going to turn it into Flamingo, and I'm going to just do 10, which is 1,000. That is an equal pair right now, we know, because we're making the swap, and when we stake this, I'm going to need to stake 10 and NEO to get that back into adding liquidity. Um, and you'll see what, I, what I'm doing. Um, I'm taking my 10 and NEO. I'm swapping it into FLM. I'm going to say swap. The fee um, are right down here. We're going to say swap. We're going to say confirm. We're going to go to the O3 wallet and say approve. We're going to look at the ledger and we're going to say accept. And here we're going to go and wait for the confirmation. And so the idea is if you have lots of Neo or lots of Flamingo, this is where you can choose what it, well, number one, if you want to 
add liquidity and stake it then. Um, but this is going to give you an opportunity to take some of the, the NEOs that just sitting around um, and turn it into other coins and then go ahead and stake them. So we have that conversion. We're going to go to the pool. We're going to add liquidity. We're going to add some end NEO and we're going to, oops, we're going to add some, oh, you know what? Hold on. The wallet does not refresh automatically, and that is the one thing that kind of drives me nuts about O3. So you may run into the same issue. Um, I usually click on the little gear, and then I go back up to the wallet, and there we go. Flamingo is showing. So what I'm also going to do is, as part of this, this video is going much longer than I thought, uh, now it shows the FLM. I'm going to actually claim so I'm going to add 14 to my my staking, or actually my liquidity. I'm going to review the transaction on my ledger. Here we go. So I'm claiming the FLM that I'm earning by staking the liquidity pair of NEO and Flamingo. And that rate of return, we'll be able to see, it changes daily, hourly, um, probably by the minute if you really look. But we're claiming the FLM so that then I can add it in my liquidity. So right now, we're at 34.8% on the Flamingo Neo staking. Um, I claimed my FLM. I now have uh, roughly just over 1,200. I'm going to go back to Flamingo. I am going to go to the swap. Even though it's swap, you really want to go to the pool and you want to add liquidity. You want, I want to take my NEO and I want to add liquidity along with my FLM. And I want to go ahead and add all my FLM, and that's about 10.09 NEO. I'm going to hit Supply. I'm going to hit Confirm. Go back to the O3 wallet. I'm going to sign it. Then I'm going to go to my ledger. I'm going to review the transaction. I'm going to accept it. And we're adding that liquidity. transaction complete. We have added some liquidity. I know it looks like it's there. Their platform does that every now and then. Um, I can pretty much guarantee you it's gone. Um, and these are the ones that we've added liquidity for. And what we can now do is go back to Flamingo. We can go to the vault and we can add more of our Flamingo Neo. We're going to stake that. We're going to take the entire balance. We're going to say confirm. We're going to approve it on Flamingo, or sorry, on the O3 wallet. We're going to then approve it on the ledger. And I'm just waiting for the ledger to work. Oh, yeah. I would jump the gun, accept. So we're adding more of the liquidity pair FLM NEO to the vault to earn more Flamingo. Now we're going to add the NEO USDT trading pair that we did. And we're going to say stake. We're going to take the balance, confirm it. O3 wallet, so I sign it, review the transaction on my ledger, and there we go. So the, the video was to really show you the platform and how if you have one uh, coin more than the other, you can take uh, your, your coin, you can swap it for another one that might be a better rate of return 
uh, depending on where you feel the different coins are going to go. This changes, but I feel most comfortable using the FLM NEO because I think both of them are great coins and I think they're going to increase. If you want to do the, the wrapped ETH with NEO, um, it's not as good a return, but Ethereum may outpace NEO. Uh, the, uh, we have wrapped Bitcoin, um, NEO, USDT, uh, Bitcoin NEO, and gas and NEO. So there's a whole variety of um, assets that you can stake um, by adding liquidity and you can swap them between the different coins based on what you have. I have a lot of NEO and I may want to swap it to ontology or wrapped Ethereum. Um, if you want to play with the Ethereum route. I know uh, I was talking, well, someone wrote in and they, they had some Ethereum stuck between um, chains and wrapping it. You can buy uh, wrapped pre-wrapped Ethereum here by bringing NEO over and swapping it for Ethereum. If you think Ethereum's going to appreciate, then that could be the Ethereum play um, that you have. So there's lots of ways to use this platform. I am enjoying this platform more and more. I hope this video was helpful to you and uh, please make any comments below. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.